Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is a video of my level 87, soon to be level 88. Um, this is commonly referred to as the Pit Zerker, but basically it's a magic finding barbarian that uses Berserk. Um, I'm just, instead of saying Pit Zerker, I'm just saying, I don't know, Zerker, that, because I've been actually using it to run Pindle a lot. I've also been doing Pit, but. Uh, I'll get into it. Anyway, this is a build that, uh, you know, we all know the skills. I don't know. This this build has been, I feel like it's been done to death. There have been a bunch of videos on it. And so I'm only recently trying it, so I'm just making this just to add my, add my two cents, my perspective on it. So we all know the skills. Max Berserk. Max Howl. I max find items. Some people don't. I just figure, you know, why not? It's a fucking find item character. Why not just max it? Also... The reason I max it is your attack and defense and all that stuff is not that important because you're mostly doing like level one, I'm not sorry, act one monsters and like, or pindle, but it's, you're basically attacking one monster at a time, so it's not that important. So I actually max battle orders and I put the rest into mastery, axe mastery, and I'm using... Death Cleaver, because I know the standard is a grief, but I don't use ladder only rune words. So this one, I decided on Death Cleaver because it like it hits really hard, it has tons of deadly strike, it has negative target defense, and it has life after kill. Well, I mean that wasn't really a factor, but I don't think you leech off of Zerk, so this is life after kill. The rest of the equipment is pretty much like standard. Well there are little tweaks. There are little there are little tweaks. You know, chance guards, Nagel, Shaco, War Traps. Um, obviously Enigma is totally is mandatory, I mean, that's the only thing, there's no real, like, budget version of this build, Wiz is on Switch, because it doesn't work without Enigma, so, there you go. Um, now the, the, the rest of it is, um, I use a Triangles just for, for the Canopy Frozen, basically. Um, a lot of, like, if you look at the guides, they're like, put a Cham in your Shaco. I'm like, yeah, word, I'm not gonna put a Cham in my Shaco for this build, okay? I'm just gonna use a... Triangles. I'm not going to put a Cham for the sake of 30% more magic find when I already have like 600 and they're diminishing returns. It's like, I think it's kind of stupid. Um, I used, this is kind of a random uh, magic find emulator that had some resistances. Obviously my resistances are not very good, but you don't need them to be very good. Um, and then I had this cast rate slash magic find ring. You need 105 to reach the breakpoint, so some people use like a, they use like a crafted amulet. Again, I'm just not gonna bother. And so I have this, it's good enough, you know, all res, cast rate, some magic find, that's good. And I use a blade of Alibaba. Again, like the standard is like a six ist fucking face blade, you know. Using the Alibaba, you get up to like high 80s. You basically get three ist for free. So this is like, this is five ist for the price of two. I, th I call that budget. I think it's pretty good. Charms, you know, Geeds, a couple war cries for, you know, your Howl, your find item, and then just all magic find shit. Um, in the gameplay, you know, I actually find that this is a pretty fun... It's a, it's a different... I, are there any other, like, magic finding melee characters? This is the only one... Like, all my other magic finding characters have been, like, a, you know, like... A, AT, Ancient Tunnel, Sork, or Hammered, and everything's been a caster, so it's, it's kind of unusual to actually have a magic finding melee build, and for that reason it's kind of fun, it's different. Um, obviously the gameplay, as you can see, is you teleport with your whiz spikes, and um, you uh, use Howl to uh, disperse uh, mobs, but as you can see, the uh, the Elite himself does not respond, of course he's man mana burn. Uh, the Elite himself does not respond to it. Oh, this is a pretty good run. Whew. Yeah, you can see I do, I, I take some damage, and Howl is, Howl is not like 100% effective, as you can see. Um, it's, uh, it, it gets you most of the way, whoa, this is a pretty good run. Whoa. Yeah, again, uh, so I, yeah, I'm definitely, like, using potions quite a bit on this character, but the thing about it is, uh, you'll be, you will be, like, drowning in potions because of the find item, you know, not only do you get the item, but you get a full load of, like, four more potions that drop, so, uh, yeah, you, t 
tons of potions drop. Yeah. Huh. This is what I would actually think of as a unusually uh, uh, full pit. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. Yeah, sometimes they're... You get, you get differing amounts of uh, elites. Uh, I don't know, sometimes they're as little as like four. And this is this is definitely on the high end, what I'm seeing now. Holy crap, a lot of mana burn. Um, I don't know if this is my, if this is the best map. I've been sticking in this map mostly because of the prevalence of like, shrines, mana shrines. Because uh, you will be going through mana at a fair clip as well. And... Oh, oh, yeah, these are some of the more dangerous guys, actually. If you have amp damage and you go up against uh, uh, some kind of uh, a bow uh, elite pack, that's actually one time where I think I have died like that <laughs> once or twice. That's that's those are the times when you have to just be like a little a uh, little bit careful, a little bit careful. But um, yeah, so again, I don't want to make this too long. This is a like it's a very common build. Tons of people have. Everyone knows about this, but just my reflections on it, I think it's, I gotta say, I'm surprised that it's taken me this long to get around to making this build, uh, because it's actually been, I think, pretty effective. I've been magic finding, to give you a sense, from like here, like only only as level 87, I'm about to level, but I've been magic finding from like here to where I am now, where I'm like just about to hit level 81. And I've found a few good things. i found a, um, again, I've been doing pits and pindle, um, I found, uh, I found a couple of facets, I found a jaw rune, I found, well, let me just show you the two, the two, uh, biggest finds I found. So one is, do you see it? Do you see it? Are you seeing it? Boom! Wind force. Yeah, I just found this today, and which is like, why I'm making this video. Yeah, fucking awesome. I've been looking for this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking awesome. So, yeah. Probably gonna do like a <laughs> like a re redo my boson video, um, but um, yeah. And then I found what might be like the ultimate, like just troll item in the game, fucking Templar's might. Is this is this fucking is this armor in the game for any other reason other than to fool people into thinking they may have found, may have found Tyrael's might? Templar's might like this. Is, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it's kind of too bad. Like, I think it, I don't know, it kind of, like, looks cool, you know? And, like, I don't know, it has high defense, but it's so rare. The strength requirement is so high. It's just, a, why would you ever use this? It sucks. It has no resistance. It has no damage reduction. I don't know, it's pretty, it's actually, like, pretty shitty when you look at it, you know? And the idea that it's so rare, by the time you find this, you'll probably have found, like, like, five other armors that would be better like a shaft stop is better than this you know shaft stop is be definitely better than this you know so anyway but those are the two big ones yeah like i said i found other stuff a couple of facets a shako which i just threw out because i have so many shakos but jaw rune um other stuff in terms of one one thing i want to comment on is pits versus pindle right now i understand that pindle can't drop some of the like highest items and I forget which ones but like he can't drop Tyrael's might right but I gotta say just anecdotally I haven't done any like calculations or anything so much um I'm sure people out there have really worked out the math but anecdotally I think Pindle is like much more effective like when I do a Pindle run I often I often he'll drop two rares and then if I get and then if I succeed in getting the find item which I do you know a lot of the time uh well 54% of the time, um, it's, I will often see four rares out of a Pindle run. A Pindle run that takes, you know, um, somewhere like around 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds a, a lot of the time. And uh, meanwhile, a pit run, I might not see even one rare. And a pit run takes, you know, pit run takes like two minutes, you know? So Pindle has a really good drop rate anecdotally you know i found i did i found the templars in pits that's true but i found i found the wind force um from pindle and um yeah i don't know because i think i once did a little bit of research that said with a with a decent amount of magic find uh 
Pindle has like a one in like twenty two thousand chance of dropping something like a wind force, you know. But if you're getting a double drop every other uh, run, then you're dividing that by one point five. You're down to like thirteen thousand runs. So it's like, I don't know. This must be the best character for doing Pindle runs, because what what character, you know? I don't care like how many couple seconds you shave off or maybe you get like a little more magic find what what is going to be better than reducing the amount of runs by you know dividing it by 1.5 divide you know reducing it by several thousand runs am i am i like wrong on the math there um i don't know so i think this character is pretty awesome like i <laughs> i should have made this character a long time ago i think i might have a few more of these uh these high level items for sure um but uh yeah, that's my two cents on it. Uh, the gameplay is kind of fun. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but honestly, not that much. And um, yeah, and it's I'm I'm been surprised by how effective it is. You know, I've always said that you know there's there's no shortcuts in Diablo 2 magic finding, but I don't know. Find item kind of is a shortcut if all you have to do is click, and then every and then more than half the time you get a whole nother drop. <laughs> so. It's pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm feeling, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, I'm running on a wind force high here, but like, it's hard for me to imagine a more effective, what's more effective? I don't know. Why would you use anything but this build, you know? Like, once you have a John Burr, why would you use anything but this build to do a Pindle or Pit Runs, you know? I don't know. I really, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm confused. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, yeah, so I guess, but I would say, I, anyway, so what I was going to say is, I think, you know, unless you're going for Tyrael's Might, I think Pindle Runs are the thing to do. I mean, am I wrong? Anyway, people, people correct this in the comments. This is just, again, I, you know, I'm not looking this up or doing any math. This is just my anecdotal stuff. You know, I pick up a lot more stuff from Pindle, like, per unit of time than I do in Pits, for sure. Um, but yeah, Wind Force, six to eight. Mana stall, and that's the only thing that varies. It got a seven right in the middle, good enough for me. And um, yeah, yeah. So again, that's just my two cents. Evaluating the uh, pit zerker slash pendle zerker. Um, I don't think I have anything more to say. I think that's it. All right, catch you later.